Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen 2. It's time to finish month number 2 and we're going to finish it with a big, big bang. Uh, we're first going to rescue um, Mahmoud Jahal, an engineer uh, who uh, is uh, being captured. We only have four people to do so, so it's going to be a pretty um, advanced mission. And on top of that, we cannot get and let anyone get hurt because I want to do a supply raid right afterwards. So without further ado, let's jump into this mission. If everything plays out uh, as I imagine, we are going to have that campaign here in an extremely pristine um, state. Probably the best uh, start that I had so far ever in a long war campaign. Let's jump into the mission. Okay, here we are. This time, it seems as if we are uh, coming in hot. We already got the VIP, so it's time for us to get out of here. 17 turns, and we simply gotta walk down the street. How difficult can that be? Well, the civilians are already yelling. That means very soon Advent is going to find us. I'm trusting you here. It's not an if, it is a when question. I'm on it. Yeah, let's position ourselves here. I don't want to trigger anything. And the Templars overwatch shots are anyways not really helpful. VIP hunkers down. We're going to overwatch. Overwatch. And overwatch. This is not the best overwatch team. It is more a quote-unquote breacher team. We got an assault and uh, a Templar. Their job is simply to get into the phase and uh, basically kill the enemies. Well, it's quite a distance. Moving to designated coordinates. Moving over. Pretty sure sooner or later we're going to trigger something. As always, blue moves first. We don't want to uh, be caught into a position where um, you already are on Overwatch. And the team, by the way, is also not necessarily the fastest one. Since we're Overwatch crawling, It feels that we're taking a lot of time just to move from A to B. We heard movement from here, which means there is someone down there. Aggressively moving forward. Overwatch. Slow little Overwatch crawl here. I don't want to get anyone injured. Pretty sure they are downstairs. Although the uh, the sound bits sounded as if they would be straight on the other side because downstairs would have looked different. There they are. So my suspicion was correct. 
they are indeed, or they were indeed, on the other side. Alright, and this is where the fun begins. Moving in to trigger the overwatch. essentially only kill him and that's pretty much it there we go I told you it's an in the face team we're going to get the sector it next turn Did I forget to... Did I actually just forget to do run and gun? Oh wow, uh, that is... Beyond retarded. On the move. 44%. Well... Renan... Gets an aid protocol because he's being he's currently being flanked. And maybe we can kill this guy. Yep, we are lucky. On the bright side. We are most certainly having run and gun next turn. Plus, as always, the sector down there can be killed with um, our with our um, Templar. Unless, of course, we're being flanked by yet another group. And yet another group. Come, come. We still have room for more. The sector needs to die. I think there there is a consensus that this guy can survive. We still have thirteen more turns, and one way of dealing with. Uh, all this crap here is to simply use line of sight to our advantage, which means we're going down. Target neutralized. Time to kill the sentry. Good. Could go up to here and try to kill the sentry. We gotta see how that works out. Hungering down. So this takes care 
Well protected. We theoretically could go for a uh, parry here. So we could at least parry one of their shots. Move all the way over here, use the grenade and kill this guy. You know what, I think that is reasonable. We're just minimizing the amount, uh, the amount of assholes that can take shots at us. Always a valid tactic. So that's uh, two um, sent uh, sentinels uh, down. We had uh, two or three in the first pack. I think two. Then we had uh, another sector plus one, so that's six or seven. And these two, eight, nine. There is one more pack. And with the amount of noise that we that we just made, it is pretty uh, sure that we are going to attract the other pack as well. Is that a single or a dual double move? Yeah, he double moved. That's good. Okay, so re reinforcements imminent. Six to seven points of damage. I think we're going to go in. That triggers another pack, so be it. The guy is disoriented, which is good. We can still. We can still run and gun. Moving up, get rid of the trooper. I told you it's a pretty much in your face sort of uh, playstyle. Okay, and Mitch here. You gotta get up there. So might as well move a little bit further into this direction. Mitch theoretically can take a shot and end his life. 40% is not the best odds. But he still got it. Good, we're continuing with uh, Perry. And there might be another pack. There's definitely, there are definitely more aliens, alien activity. It's just been noticed. Let's rock. Free reload and let us move up here. On which may or may not trigger the last pack. I've got eyes on an it does. Luckily, the Templar movement range is just immense. Great disorientation, helps a lot. And those guys back there. We're going to decide whether or not we want to stay near in a second. Okay. 
Time for a solid reload here. So Mitch <coughs> moves over to here. Essentially being completely out of line of sight. And one cool aspect about the Templar is it's very simple to get out of line of sight after you engaged. So having the liberty to decide whether or not you want to be there and parry it, or if you want to simply hit and run, uh, makes the gameplay a lot of fun. You just gotta know when to engage and when not to, but luckily I recently had an entire campaign dedicated to a Templar. So that makes it quite easy. Oh, hello! Who would have thought that we would find you here? Oh, by the way... What? Grazing shot? Seriously? That's the time when you already wish you had Blade Storm. Moving, to position. Moving up here and let's hope we can get one of them. I think we're going for the trooper. Didn't work out. Let's parry and just tank this here. We don't have run and gun, which is a shame, but what can you do? So we should be fine with parry. It's most likely going to be a stasis. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Soon reinforcements are going to show up, so we gotta hurry up just a little bit. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I think we just killed the last pack. Fortunately, slightly injured. Let's hope that that the slight injury does not mean we that we need to go on to the supply rate without him. Time to rescue everyone. It looks as if probably everyone can make it onto the rooftop. Yep, 
just barely so Okay, reinforcements are dropping in. I'm gone. And it's only at Gale and Paul. Yep, let's just get him out of here and we're... Oh, wait a second. Well, that doesn't end our turn, so I might as well do it. Almost forgot to hack. See you, suckers. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. I wish we would have flawlessed it, uh, but the it's now important to see how long he's going to be injured. All right, it's six days, which is really bad. So he's definitely going to miss unless. Field surgeon, but that will not retroactively no. It won't. Ah, unfortunate. I like the heavy ordinance. Alternatively we can uh, take an extra flashbang with us. Both actually works out reasonably well. Let's go with the extra damage grenade for now. Yeah, that sucks. Got an Advent data pad and an Alarum core that's around uh, 50 supplies if we need it. Check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Plus, we do have a new uh, engineer to help us with the clearing. We're being we're having one wounded soldier for six days, so maybe Edgar and Paul will not make it onto the supply rate. So if we were, if we were to launch it without anything, we'd be looking at uh, 37 enemies. You know what, let's start the infiltration. Here's the idea. Let's start the infiltration and we're going to speed up the healing of uh, Edgar and depending on how it looks like I'm either going in with a 0% version which would be swarming plus levels of enemies or we're going to go in with a kind of more moderate uh, version. Let me first of all deal with all of the equipment because we will need good equipment during this run. Okay, so we're back. Um, is there upon equipping everyone, we're still not getting under the swarming level, so 
might as well do it with uh, 0%. Here's the deal though. Um, we're lacking the upgrades for some of our weapons, specifically the shotguns and uh, the um, sniper rifle, um, which we could buy with advanced uh, laser weapons. So I'm going, still going to start the infiltration. But I'm not sure if we can do it with those ballistic weapons and with a short infiltration timer. However, if we're now speeding up the recovery, uh, also, to my understanding, the uh, we're just about to finish, yeah, advanced laser weapons. So once that is done, we can, we can use whatever supplies we do have and actually buy a few extra weapons. So for now, it's very precisely look how how long um, Edgar Alien will be out. So that's six days. And I'm not sure if it is um, halving the um, time or if it's just um, cutting it into two thirds. We're going to find out. I think it's half the time. So, we were super successful and um, this unknown cause for lo uh, loss of potential supplies means we do have a spy in one of our, um, in one of our resistant havens. Intel regarding current alien activities. If the resistance can detect the source of these operations, we can counter them and stop them. So. All Advent soldiers now have a chance to reanimate as psionic zombies. Oh, please not. Rapid response. Increasing the rate of reinforcements to arrive in some missions. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. So both are not fun. We are going with the lost uh, because between the eyes is just the single best um, order. If I could choose from all of them, that's probably my choice. My people will listen, they like Maybe them. together with the one that uh, removes status effects immediately. So we got a supply drop there, but we're short on time. Um, How is the healing progressing? It's down to four days, which pretty much indicates that it halves the time. I appreciate the new lab facilities, Commander. Look at that. We got our laboratory. Now I think it's a good time to at least put uh, two of the scientists into the laboratory. There you go. And we're currently creating supplies here. Might have um, one of the engineers help with that because engineers um, increase the supply level quite a bit as you can see uh, doing that would increase our income substantially however it also means that we're excavating less rapidly which is fine One more day and we actually need this one here uh, to help us purchase um, laser weapons. So a lot of things need to happen correctly in order to uh, to pull the, uh, the supply rate off. Advanced laser weapons soon. 
as well as the alien debris will will be done so that gives us one prototype but unfortunately probably not the one that we need um, I would say we we'll continue um, researching the Advent Trooper. Now, as for Edgar Alien, he's almost back in business. We now need uh, the debris to be cleared, and then we can uh, start uh, with building the weapons so that's 55 resources not too shabby fifty five resources and we could use one sniper yep as well as a scatter ray. So we do have, short of the supplies, we do have everything. Matter of fact, we have enough for a laser lance and a scatter ray. We just would need another scatter ray to make it worthwhile. But we could live with that equipment. Now, the only thing which is uh, remaining is we got to get Edgar Alien back, so three more days. It's actually two and a bit. Um, let's look into the mission. Wonderful. We just uh, got the first, um, the first dark event. So, current activities is 30, 25 to uh, 27. Still one more day and 11 hours. Hmm. I'm not sure if, if we can pull it off. I think he's going to miss uh, the mission. As much as that sucks. There's even a new mission uh, coming up. A hidden counter a hidden event. Uh, yeah, we definitely would want to do that, please. And we're going to field a troop, uh, I think right after the supply raid, because currently we're a little bit busy. He is still wounded for more than a day. And the supply rate is about to expire, right? Yeah. We missed it. We missed the mark, boys. I think we're just going to let it infiltrate as far as possible and then I decide whether or not I'm going to do it. Cool. Commander, I've learned that we have new opportunities. Let's see about our missions. So mobility plus one, dodge plus three, and supplies. An engineer is really good. This here is probably the one that I would uh, recommend doing next. Either that or the engineer. We would need a second soldier for it. 
which would be okay in 18 hours because we can put the Shinobi and the Rookie onto this mission. And at the end of the uh, month we would get another Engineer, which is okay for now because then we can use that Engineer and put it in the Covered Ops missions to actually speed them up. I think that's a sensible idea. Good, let's wait until until the um, until the training is done. Look at that, we got a jailbreak going on here. Theoretically speaking, there's another specialist and a few others whom we could take in order to to do a swarming uh, supply raid. Not sure yet, but we got to do a, the mission first. So uh, next video will be mission spider seed. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the con uh, content, leave a comment down below. Tell me how you like uh, Long War 2 and what your favorite feature is. Thanks and see you soon.